I've flown past Mach 1 several times off the carrier. The most exciting portion of it is getting shot off the front end. Your body is experiencing this different feel to it completely from zero to 150 miles an hour in about two and a half seconds. I'm Tim Hibbets, I am a pilot, and I have flown faster than the speed of sound. When you're sitting on the carrier at night, you're right across from the island, which has all these big orange sodium lights. It's this orange glow that's pawing everything, and everybody's almost monochromatic. And outside of that is just pitch black. As soon as they punch the button and you start off on the catapult, you've got these lights now that were around you and now they're streaking past you. Your body is pulled back into the seat. Your hearing is now assaulted. You're under these extreme forces. Anything that could go wrong now could be really disastrous in the next few seconds. Suddenly, you reach the end of the catapult and all you're left with is hanging out for, for an instant where you can feel, hear, and see nothing. Totally different experience for the person uh, who's watching it from outside. So you're watching this airplane and he's raging by you, but you still can't hear a thing. And then he'll get four or five hundred feet past you. And then suddenly, this thunder hits you and it just rattles everything and it just compresses your chest. It's a little wonky for a, for a half a second. You just take this really quick snapshot. Okay, did I die? Oh, I don't think I died. Okay, everything is cool again? Yeah, everything is cool again. And then you, you continue with your mission.